Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today I'm gonna to show you in Design Space how to do a big uh, character off the mat. It is Baby Grinch, as you can see here. I haven't decided if I wanna do this one, like Grumpy, or just Baby Grinch over here. It's so cute though. Um, but you can get this on the Salty Yankees website. And I do love her files. If you remember, she actually did custom files for me for um, Canary and for Sam from Cannon Busters. So they're great files. Absolutely, like, just beautiful. Um, so yeah, let's go and do this. So I'm in Design Space. Oopsies. <laughs> let's go to Upload. And I've only... These are the two characters that she designed for me, and they were just fabulous. I almost... I feel like I... I can't uh, go back to just a regular SVG file because she did them custom specifically in mind that we were gonna do a big off the map. But anyway, let's upload these two. These are in my downloads, where is it? Okay, um, so I'm gonna bring in this one. Let's see which one this is. Oh, this is uh, Grumpy Scarf Upload. And let's upload the other one just so that I can see. I wish this could um, get your votes, but then you're not even on right now. I'm just talking out loud. <laughs> All right, here's the other one. Oh, you know what? She gave me the same one. Let's see. They're both the same one with scarf, one without scarf. And actually, I like the scarf. So let's definitely do the scarf, add to canvas. And I don't know how big I can actually make this. So we're gonna, uh, this is my first time, obviously, you just saw me upload it, so I didn't have it before that. Um, let's, I think we're gonna struggle at 30 inches because, yeah. So this whole face is one piece, although we can connect the black right here so that it's the forehead and then the bottom but his bottom is kind of long. Um, and the arms are connected. So I almost feel like we should slice right here, right at the armpit so that the arm is one piece. And then for the legs, probably slice. Ugh. There's a lot of slicing going on. Let's, since it's baby, baby Grinch, let's see if we can make him Let's do 24 inches and just see what we have. All right, so at 24 inches, what do we have? We've got this. Let's make this, shrink it down to 25% so that we could see everything. Um, let's look at this and go to contour and see what we have. So, oh, okay, uh, no, that's one piece, okay. Uh, let's hide all. It's going to leave us the face. Let's see how big the face is. So the face is 9.4 by 13.6. I wonder if I... Let's do that. Let's ungroup this and see what we have here. At this, can I rotate this? Oh, it's close. 9.5 by 12.1. 10.9 by 11. So this will fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So I like this. Let's put this back. So the face is going to be seamless. Okay. Now see, here's the thing. If, if she had designed this knowing that we were going to do off the mat, I would have asked her to, you know, separate, just tweak the design a little bit and it would look just seamless. We can make it a lot bigger. But now let's look at the body. So this is 24 inches. So I'm happy that the face doesn't have any seams in it because then it gives us, it's one less distraction. So if the face is good, then the body can have some, oh look, oh, wait a minute. The body's 8.1 by 9.9, .9. so actually, we can make him a little bit bigger than 24 inches. So our face is actually, so this is what I would do. 
Let's bring back the face contour. So knowing what we know, so actually hold on because I've messed this up already. Let's delete this. Let's go to upload. So let's bring it back in and all right. So knowing that, whoa, what happened here? I'm going to make his height. I'm going to go for 28 inches. Actually, I'm just going to go for 30. Let's see what happens at 30. Okay, so at 30, um, let's look at the basic here and go to contour. We want to hide hide all and just leave the body, not the face. So the body is 10.2 by 12.3. All right. So this is at 30 inches. He's going to look amazing at 30 inches. All right. We're doing this. Let's go to contour, bring everything back. Now let's actually, I want the face. I'm going to hide the body for now. Hide, uh, hide all. Okay. That gives me the face. Oh, okay. Um, the face is 17 inches. So oops, ungroup. So what I would do is I would slice it off right there. No one is going to see this little itty bitty seam running right there. Nobody. <laughs> Let me turn this over. Oops. I want to make it bigger. Okay, so we are going to put it right there, make it bigger. See, I'm going to slice it right there. Let's make this just a little bit bigger. So if we slice it right here, there's going to be a seam. But the seam is going to be like less than a quarter of an inch. We're probably going to use glitter cardstock. So there is no way you're going to see that seam. Let's zoom in for a second. No way. There's no way you're going to notice that seam. I'm betting money on that. Look at that. No way. <laughs> right? Okay. So let's make sure that this works. So this bottom piece, 11.7 by 9.5. We can cut that on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Oh my gosh, he's going to be 30 inches and he's going to look amazing. So let's get rid of, all right, so let's zoom back out for a second. Now that I've already sliced that, we got to bring in the body again. So let me, <laughs> sorry, I'm so excited. I cannot believe that he's going to be 30 inches and he's going to look amazing. Okay, so now we're going to change that one to 30 inches. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this whole thing because we don't need this. Okay, this guy, we already have the face here. So on this guy, I'm going to go to his body and I'm going to get rid of the face. I'm actually going to get rid, I'm going to hide everything except for his body. Okay, so his body is 10.2 by 12.3. Oops, let me ungroup this. Oh my gosh. I, you know, it's the little things that get me excited. I just cannot believe that he is going to be, uh oh, you know what? Let's go to contour. I think I got rid of his fingers. I did. I got rid of, I got rid of these little fingers. Oh no, I don't want the mouth. Um, There, I got rid of those little fingers by accident. Okay, there we go. So his whole body, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. All right, that's gonna be good. Okay, this is kind of small for my taste, but that's okay. 
yeah, these are all pieces that we can cut. Um, these are all our white pieces. Okay. We're practically done. He's gonna, so basically 30 inches, the only seams you're gonna see, and I honestly, I don't think you're gonna see this, is right here. And maybe along the edges. Okay, so let's go and, <clears throat> excuse me, let's view all. I'm going to use my grid of squares SVG file. This you can get on my website, theuselesscrafter.com. You can either subscribe to my newsletter and get it for free, or you can pay for the SVG file. If you pay, I mean, honestly, I think it's worth it because every time you do an off the mat, anytime that you want to slice and you want your pieces to be flushed, um, you can use this grid. So that's why, um, and you don't have to recreate it each time. You just go and you upload it. Um, I have it here. I should just search for it, but I don't, I know. Hold on, and design space is so slow today. Dang it. Why, why, why today? Why today, every day. <laughs> okay, squares, it's coming. So my SVG file comes with both options. You get a grid of nine and a grid of 16. The 16 is 44 inches by 44 by 44 so that's quite big um, so here you're going to insert it add it to the canvas once you download it and upload it into design space it's always there you just go search for it bring it in and you're ready to go and slice so the only thing that i would do is when you first drop it in i would go to the position feature and round to the nearest whole number so it's at 1.4 um, so technically it should be at one but i'm going to actually go to two two and two okay so it just gives us room over here to navigate. Then scroll down and get your black background. Here's our little guy, arrange, send to the front. And now we're just looking to see where we should slice him, okay? Um, he is just slightly bigger than, uh, I'm almost tempted to slice him right down the middle because, let's see. You're not gonna notice the seams right here and he's gonna be completely covered in green. So this might be really good so that we have just big pieces. Um, yeah, I think this is good. So go and ungroup your squares we don't need this set right here, so I'm just gonna delete it. Now you may have noticed that I moved him over. He's not completely centered. I moved him over because I wanted to make sure that these little tips are all connected. So it's gonna go down the middle here and that's gonna be one big piece with all the little tips. What I don't want to happen is something like this, where this tip right here is its own piece. So I don't want anything like that. I want it to be more like this. So let's slice and see what we have. So here's our first square. We're slicing the square with one square at a time with the image because you can only slice two things at one time. So you could see slicing was available. If you grab more than two items, if you have anything but two items, your slicing button is gonna be grayed out. And I'll show you an example of that right now. So here is my first square, my Grinch, that's two items, and I'm gonna grab this third square. You see it's grayed out, okay? So just know that when it's grayed out, it is most likely user error. So it just is what it is. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. All right, now I'm just gonna make my way around the Grinch and start slicing. This, oh my gosh, going into this project, I wasn't going to make him because I have all my projects mapped out for the next couple months. And I wanted to show the tutorial for this because it's such a cute image. Um, and I didn't think I was going to be able to do him at 30 inches, 
but this is so stinking cute. Um, okay, so we have all the pieces. I'm going to move it over here so that we can see it. Right? These are all nice big pieces, easy to manage, right? Easy to put back together as a puzzle. And oh my God, I'm so excited. He's going to be so cute. All right, he's done. So let's save this. This is Baby Grinch, 30 inches. And let's go to the Make It screen just to see what we have. I mean, honestly, that face right there, that little slice, it's going to be so good. No one, I, I mean, I almost feel like I need to make it so that I can prove to you guys that no one is going to notice. All right, I'm going to flip this over to the side a little bit and kind of smush it in here but it's because we didn't slice these out if we were to slice this out on the previous like on the canvas then we can actually move them as individual pieces but i was a little bit lazy these are big enough pieces all right this is um so your black background actually fits on three sheets of black um I'm wondering, no, there's no way we can fit it on just two. All right, here is our red, our light green. I would maybe do something like this. Okay, there's our light green, our dark green, our baby green. Now this one, Let's see. Did, wait a minute. I thought he was shorter than, did I miss that? Let's go back to the other screen. Sorry, hold on. This, okay, this, the way I would cut this one, I would turn it a bit. See, so it fits, it's less than 12 by 12, right? Um, did I miss this? Cancel. Let's go back. I was so excited because for some reason I thought it was less than 12 inches. What was I thinking? It's 10.2 by 12.3. So if we unlock this, can we make this? I don't think we can. Oh man, he's just a little bit too long. Okay, I know what we need to do. He's just a little bit too long. I'm gonna slice it right here, right at the armpits, okay? So let's zoom in for a second. Because he's 12.5. If we sliced it right here, which no one is gonna notice, right there and right there, then the length calculation is gonna start here down we should be fine so let's do this um let's do this let's bring in a square let's see if we can do this it's gonna be close right there nope I'm going to tilt it a little bit. Okay, right there. I'm going to grab these two items and slice. Okay, so delete this. This is our little guy with the little seam right there that no one's going to notice, I promise. Okay, so we're going to move this one over. Let's see if we can do the same thing on this side. Okay, rotate, rotate. And almost rotate a little bit more. There. 
I think he's completely covered. Let's slice this and see if what I think should work, if it actually does work. Okay, so we're gonna delete this. Delete this, move this arm out, and yes, 9.7 by 12.014. That should work. Wait a minute, let me see. Nine point seven but eleven point eight. Yes. <laughs> okay, I still stand by this. He's gonna look seamless. I'm actually gonna make it to prove to you guys that even I mean these are just tiny little tiny little things. Okay, now let's save it. And now let's go to the make it screen. So you're gonna make Grinch baby Grinch completely with 12 by 12 cardstock. He is at 30 inches and he's going to look seamless and we're going to use glitter cardstock because we are. And let's see. So when you get to this screen, now here's the thing. Um, so you can rotate him a little bit, move him up. Okay. So what I would say is I would, do it like that. So if you only have a 12 by 12 mat, this is what I would do. I would move these two little guys onto another screen, another, um, let's move it over to a new one. And I don't know which green it is. I don't remember, but let's just move it for now. So what's gonna happen is let's grab this one I do recommend at some point that you guys use 12 by 24 mats because it's the cheapest mat. It makes the most sense like from a economical standpoint, but also, um, you know, it's just nice. Sometimes you can cut two 12 by 12 sheets. Um, okay. So if you only have a 12 by 12 mat, this is fine. What you see how like it never cuts the top a quarter of an inch or the sides, right? So it technically only cuts 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So it thinks that we're using a 12 by 24 mat and it thinks we're using paper longer than 12 by 12. But how I would do this is I would, um, I would put my piece of paper a little bit past, going past the 12 inch line, cause there's space even on a 12 by 12 mat. So go past the 12 inch line. It's not gonna cut, you know, so that means your paper is gonna start not at zero, zero. It's gonna start a little bit down and that way it will cut this whole piece whole um, with 12 by 12 cardstock, okay? All right. And then this guy we kind of already talked about. We should, so this is going right up to the 12 inch line. Technically you could do the same thing. You can just put your paper a little bit past the 12 by 12 uh, the 12 inch line and it will cut fine. But if you want it to rest um, without worrying, you could rotate him, right? And now he's above the 12 inch line and you could just do that. Um, all right, that's all I have for you. He's gonna be stinking cute. Um, okay, I will see you guys next time. Um, I'm gonna make it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna squeeze this in, make it, and show you, and he's gonna look amazing. All right, see you guys later. Bye.